it is only fair that we now invite our dear host, His Excellency the President, to come and say a word as we conclude this moment and this prayer service. Welcome, Your Excellency. Please be seated. Thank you. Um, to our religious and spiritual leaders who have joined us this morning and afternoon, fellow Kenyans here present, and all those who are watching on TV on radios, on the internet. Today really is not my day. Today is our day together as Kenyans, a day that we have chosen to come together, to give thanks for all that God has done for us, to seek his forgiveness for anything that we may have done wrong individually or collectively but also to ask for his favor in the face of the challenges that we have as a nation and indeed as the world. So today mine is not to say much. I have a very simple duty and that is to introduce to my fellow Kenyans those few who are here representing different sectors of our society and I will just ask them maybe to stand in groups. We have those who are representing the cabinet that I lead, if they may stand. Asante. We have those who are representing the permanent secretaries. Well, yeah, thank you. We have the political leadership represented here today, may I ask you also to stand and be seen by our Kenyans. Oh, thank you. We have those rep representing the second tier of the executive, which is the county government. To ask the governor to stand. We have our defense forces and our disciplined forces. If I may also ask you to stand. We have those who are representing our judiciary, and I would like to ask the CJ to stand. We have those representing Parliament, led by the speakers. We have those who are representing our business sector. May I ask you also to stand. Those who are representing our labor unions, if I may ask you also to stand. And that generally is about it. Just to say that it is good to come together as a nation. It is good to pray together as a nation. I know there are those who are saying that we should depend on science, not prayers. But I want to assure you that even science needs God. Yeah. So we need to always remember that a nation prospers when a nation believes, when a nation trusts in its maker. And Kenya is a nation that believes in the Almighty as represented in the opening stanza of our national anthem, 
where we recognize him as the God of all creation. So mine is just to continue to ask you, fellow Kenyans, wherever you may be, let us continue to pray for our country. Let us continue to pray for peace, to pray for unity, to pray for healing, to pray for reconciliation and understanding, and to pray for prosperity. And I am certain that our God is a listening God. And he will hear us, and he will grant us our desire and our wishes. May God bless you all. Asante Nisana. The final prayer is our national anthem, which we will pray, we'll sing as we pray our anthem. to reject evil ways and only see good and upright ways. Protect us, Lord, and bless this land and nation. Make us one once again. Restore our bodily and spiritual health. Restore our land and our economy. Restore our nationhood. Make us your people and heal us. Comfort us. Protect us. And bless us in your mighty name, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And we now give the blessing of Almighty God. May Almighty God bless our people, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us all respond. Amen. Amen. Let us all respond. Amen. Amen. Let us celebrate. Amen. Amen. Let us clap for our good Jesus and our good Lord, the Almighty Allah, all powerful. Once more, an applause wherever you are receiving the blessing. We need an applause for our Kenya, for our nation, for our nationhood, for our leaders, for unity, for harmony, for oneness. And for unity in fighting this crunch. We now invite the choir to sing a choir, one chorus as we return to our places.